Was your Sony PlayStation hacked in 2011? Because 77 million PlayStation accounts were indeed hacked according to Sony. If a huge corporation like Sony could not protect itself from cyber threats, you can assume that the chances of any organization being 100% safe are pretty slim. Cybersecurity is a booming industry and will be for the foreseeable future, considering most of the IT business has moved on to the cloud. According to recent trend studies, the cybersecurity domain is set to skyrocket to nearly $200 billion by 2027. So what are you waiting for? Stay tuned to this video on becoming a cybersecurity expert in 2023 and jumpstart your career. In today's video, we will cover the basic responsibilities of a cybersecurity expert and the different types of cybersecurity domains. We go through the required skills for being a cybersecurity expert and a roadmap on how to become one. Finally, we cover the best cybersecurity certifications to help you secure your first job in this lucrative domain, followed by the different roles you can aim for in this industry. Before we move forward, ensure you are subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest trends and informative videos. And for all the budding cybersecurity professionals, here is a small question to your knowledge. If a user finds a Facebook clone website that hackers set up to steal passwords, what attack can this be classified as? Is it A. Phishing? Is it B. SQL injection? Is it 3. A DDoS attack? Or 4. Cryptojack? Let us know your answers in the comments below and let's start by learning about what a cybersecurity expert does. A cybersecurity expert specializes in preventing unwanted access to or theft of computer systems and data. More people and organizations rely on the internet and computers to conduct their day to day activities in today's digital environment. Because of this increased reliance on technology, it has become a major target for criminals looking to get access to confidential data or wreak havoc on networks. As a result, there is an increasing demand for qualified cybersecurity specialists who can assist in mitigating these dangers. Experts in cybersecurity typically have a computer science or engineering backgrounds and use their computing systems expertise to create sufficient security solutions and use their computing systems expertise to create efficient security solutions. Cybersecurity professionals need to be technically proficient, but they also need to be able to think tactically and keep up with the latest emerging advancements in danger. Cybersecurity professionals have the necessary skills and expertise to identify suspicious signals before they pose a risk. They can also keep track of the most recent dangers and neutralize them before they hurt the business. With that being said, the key responsibilities include but are definitely not not limited to gathering data on current security measures for threat assessment and keeping regular records of the status of systems, regularly checking for assaults, and if any are detected, implementing the necessary preventive measures, performing vulnerability scanning to identify weak spots, and collaborating with a cybersecurity team to update security protocols as needed. Considering security first while setting up firewall software, network firewall programs, data servers, and antivirus systems, providing credentials for unauthorized users, presenting tasks linked to access, and looking for changes to non-listed information, helping lead staff members receive trainings on phishing and other common threats. With so many duties on the board, it's bound to expect multiple categories in this domain. So let's take a look at the different types of cybersecurity. Number one, we have network security. This branch of network engineering as opposed to focusing on individual databases or devices, protects against breaches for a network of interconnected devices. Network security experts use firewalls, physical protective hardware, and security awareness to prevent breaches and retain lost data. Email and user security may also be a focus of network security. The professionals may lead organizational initiatives to enforce tougher password policies or to restrict web browsing to reputable websites only. The professionals have a more focused area of work than cybersecurity personnel. Cybersecurity protects attacks from attacks on individuals, networks, hardware, and software. In contrast, network security focuses on weak links between a network of interconnected devices only. At number two, we have information security. Cybersecurity and information security overlap to some extent, but cybersecurity is just a subcategory of the latter. Information security includes digital and physical data across all media, whereas cybersecurity focuses solely on securing digital assets. Specialists in information security and cybersecurity both safeguard sensitive data information, but information security considers factors like the accessibility and confidentiality of data to prevent access by cyber criminals. The number three, is infrastructure security. This domain can concentrate on using vaults, security systems, and generators to protect sensitive valuables. Infrastructure security in the digital sphere refers to building and maintaining systems protected from breaches. Professionals in this field defend critical applications and data while building infrastructure to protect these devices. The experts create and implement efficient databases at the app level to block access by malicious parties. By creating systems for encryptions and backups, the professionals secure data against the hackers. The skill set needed to become a cybersecurity expert can vary from domain to domain, but the major chunk of skills remain the same. 
So let's go through some of these skills in our next section. At the top of our list is being technically adept. Cybersecurity professionals must have a solid grasp of computer networking and how they operate. They should also be aware of typical security flaws and how to mitigate them. Cybersecurity professionals must recognize how hackers operate and think and function to defend systems from assault. This enables them to predict assaults and put effective countermeasures in place. Number three is having a methodical approach. Cybersecurity work frequently demands a high level of precision and a meticulous attention to detail. Paying this attention to nuances to find evidence that could result in a successful attack is very crucial to cybersecurity. Cybersecurity issues are usually complex and multifaceted. As a result, specialists must be able to spot issues and develop innovative solutions using their problem solving skills. Cybersecurity professionals must be able to describe technicalities to non technical colleagues and consumers fully. They must also be able to collaborate with others on their team effectively. So let's say you have mastered the skills needed to become a cybersecurity expert. What about the next steps? Our next section will cover a roadmap that will provide the exact sequence of steps needed to become a cybersecurity expert in 2023. At number one, we have basic computer skills, usually meaning the relevant computer skills and systems knowledge that is necessary to work your way around hundreds of platforms. While a computer science degree is highly preferable and helpful when starting in this domain, people from non-technical backgrounds can also work in cybersecurity if they train themselves in basic computing skills. Number two is networking skills. Networking skills are absolutely essential since a lot of the work will revolve around wireless access and network security protocols. With everything going wireless, networking skills and particularly wireless networking should be the next step in your journey. After polishing your networking skills, the third obstacle should be getting your knowledge of Linux operating systems to at least above average standards. Most scanning tools and exploit frameworks run exclusively on Linux based distributions like Kali Linux and Parrot Security, making it an absolute must before moving forward. Basic scripting skills should be the next step since developing and combating exploits will require some programming skills. While not mandatory, these scripting skills will help you modify exploits that can later be used to secure infrastructure. The next step is the PEH certification by TCM or the Cyber Mentor. This course will teach the practical aspects of ethical hacking. This course covers tools and concepts to help you succeed as an ethical hacker or a cybersecurity analyst. The training is quite hands-on and will cover a wide range of fundamental subjects. Websites like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me are virtual labs that function as targets for ethical hackers practicing their craft. As a cybersecurity professional, practicing on these rooms can help you stay updated with the latest and most complex tools available to penetration testers today. Next is the EJPT certification or the eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester. This certification is a hands-on course in penetration testing and information security fundamentals. Passing the exam proves to businesses that you, a cybersecurity specialist, is now ready for a successful new job. The last step is getting an OSCP or a PNPT certification. Regarding a professional certification that can help you grow further in the domain, you have these two options. The OSCP online course can be completed at your speed and schedule. It covers penetration testing tools and methodologies through hands-on practice. The program teaches the skills and mindset needed to be a successful vulnerability researcher and a cybersecurity analyst. The PNPT exam or the Practical Network Penetration Tester Certification is a one-of-a-kind vulnerability scanning certification exam that evaluates a student's capacity to perform a networking penetration test at a professional level. Now that you know the roadmap that needs to be followed to become a cybersecurity expert, let us look into some of the best certifications available on the market today. At number one, we are going to have the CISSP certification. It is based on a common body of knowledge that covers a broad range of topics, including network security, cryptography, and access control. To be eligible for the CISSP though, candidates must have at least five years of real life work experience in at least two or more of the eight CISSP domains. At number two, we have the CEH certification or the Certified Ethical Hacker. This certification validates a candidate's ability to identify, assess, and mitigate risks in an organization system. To earn the CEH certification, candidates must pass an exam that covers topics such as network scanning, enumeration, social engineering, and SQL injection. Number three, we have the CCSP. The Certified Cloud Security Professional Credential is a globally recognized certification demonstrating a deep understanding of cloud security architecture, design, operations, and services. The CCSP validates an individual ability to secure cloud data along with its applications and manage workloads effectively. The fourth certification we have for you is the CISA. This exam tests a candidate knowledge of information system auditing, control, and security. 
Candidates who pass the exam must maintain the certification through continued education and professional development. The CISA certification is widely recognized as a benchmark of excellence in information security. As we've already discussed, there are many facets to cybersecurity. Needless to say, there are a variety of roles to choose from in this domain. So let's go through some of the most popular roles in the cybersecurity division today. At number one, we have the application security engineer. Application security experts can build, deploy, and manage computer software and applications in various sectors. They work almost entirely in an office setting with most of their time spent writing and debugging software. Fluency in several programming languages like C, C Sharp, Java, Python and JavaScript is necessary. At number two, we have the security engineer. They are responsible for designing and implementing strategies that ensure the security of an organization's products and systems. They must be able to examine an organization's procedures and predict future difficulties. As a result, they must be skilled at incident response and have solid computer forensics knowledge. Number three is the network security engineer. Network security engineers are critical in deploying setting and managing network and security hardware and software. Examples being some firewalls, routers, or network management tools along with VPNs. They are also responsible for undertaking network security assessments and may be asked to assist in the network infrastructure design. Information security analysts are in charge of investigating the security issues and providing fixes. The responsibilities include researching the sector, identifying potential issues, implementing ways to secure the firm. The role needs a diverse set of abilities. It requires professionals to collaborate with diverse people, including analysts inside and outside the business and senior personnel. IT security professionals examine an organization's security strategy and previous breaches to determine how attacks happen and what can be done to prevent them. Because IT and cybersecurity are such vast areas, firms typically employ many IT security specialists, each specializing in a distinct area. For example, one may focus solely on online applications, while another is responsible for the organization's networks. So that wraps up our video on how to become a cybersecurity expert in 2023. I hope our lesson has cleared your doubts and about how to start your career in this domain. If you have any doubts or queries, feel free to let us know in the comment section and we will get your answers as soon as possible. If you have any doubts or queries, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and you will get your answers as soon as possible. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this and thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.